third day hair. This is what my third day hair looks like. I sleep with my hair in a nice messy bun just like that, but this is basically what my hair looks like when I take it out of the bun. You can see I have creases from where the ponytail was overnight. It's a little bit greasy. I mean, it's not too bad. It gets really greasy like right behind my ears. It's probably where it gets the most greasy. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I will let you know it took me a long time, like years, to get to the point where I was comfortable with not washing my hair every day. <laughs> dry shampoo. So this is my favorite dry shampoo. This is the Batiste dry shampoo. It is drugstore. It is $8 and I got it at Ulta. They also sell it at like, I think Target has it, Walgreens, I've seen it at like CVS, but Ulta I think is the best place to get it because you can use your $3.50 off coupon and usually they have it for buy one get one half off. So this is better than every single one of these dry shampoos. So this is the Sephora Favorites dry shampoo kit that came out right around Christmas time. This is powder based as opposed to alcohol based. So it really, really soaks up the oil. It does have a powder finish to it. So you do have to rub it into your hair and I'll show you how to do all of that. But this is my favorite dry shampoo. Okay, so day three is usually the last day that I feel comfortable wearing my hair down, whether it's straight or curled. This is the last day that I'll push it. Otherwise, I always do like updos or what I'm gonna show you right now. But before anything, I spray the dry shampoo in. So I focus on the areas that are really, really oily. So like behind my ears. And I just spray it like that. and then around my hairline. And if I'm going to have my hair down or some way that you can see the part of my hair, I always spray down the part of my hair also. And the reason why I do that is because for one, it blends my roots a little bit better. Um, oily roots get darker because they're oily, so it blends my roots a little bit better and it just gives you a little bit of volume. So I let it sit for I don't know, 10 seconds, whatever. Ooh, hope I didn't get dry shampoo on my hair. And then I shake it. So just like you would shake your hair in the actual shower, if you were using actual shampoo, I just shake it. And this is what gets rid of that white cast. So Batiste also makes a uh, brunette hair version where the powder is actually brown, which is really nice if you have dark hair. But once you shake it, you can see the white cast pretty much goes away. All right, now I'm gonna brush it out because it is quite unruly, that's for sure. So, you know, just brush your hair out like you normally would. Okay, style number one is a side braid. And this is like my go-to hairstyle when I don't wanna do my hair. <laughs> so for this, I'm, I'm telling you, it's nothing fancy. I don't even know how to do a fishtail braid, but you can do a fishtail braid if you know how to do a fishtail braid. But step one is to get rid of all of these ponytail creases. So I just use a hair straightener and I don't like focus on any part of my hair for too long. I just kind of quickly go through it like this. And the good part about wearing your hair in a braid is you don't have to run the straightener through all of your hair because it's gonna be braided. Just the parts of your hair that will not be braided is what I straighten. So just go through it like that. Focus on the front, really. See how that crease is right there? The straightener will get that right out. Okay, so after I straighten the top part of my hair and get all those ponytail creases out, I literally just do a side braid. And the trick to braids is separate your hair into three pieces. And then what I try to do is this back piece right here, I try to tuck under first. So I try to make that my first piece that I braid and I tuck it under like that and then I braid around it. That way, it just looks better. Because if you ever think your braid looks a little weird or looks a little bit chunky, it's probably because you put that bottom piece over the top first. And that's what, you know, that's what makes it look a little weird. So I just braid, I usually stop about halfway down um, like that and I leave a little bit of ponytail just because I like the way that that looks. But it is completely up to you what you do. So I do that 
And then if I want to add a little bit of kind of messiness, I'll pull out some pieces right around my ears, like that, and then right around my face. And then if you have like little baby hairs, like I sometimes have um, like layers that fall out, just put a bobby pin right there and it holds it all in place. And that's it, super easy. This next hairstyle is my take on the messy bun. And for girls with really long hair, I mean my hair goes down to pretty much my waist. For girls with long hair, it's really hard to do the messy bun because you just have so much hair. So this is how I do the messy bun. So I pull my hair to about the crown of my hair right there, the crown of my head, and then I wrap it around. And here's the trick, because my hair is so long, I stop like right there and I twist it around again and then I stop like that. So let me show you again because that can get a little bit tricky. Um, so pull your hair back and then as you're pulling your first loop, you stop. You stop wherever you're comfortable and then you twist it around again and then stop halfway again like that. So then you have this little tail. You can leave the tail or you can wrap the tail around and tuck it in to the hair tie, which is usually what I do. And that's it. That is my take on the messy bun. And again, you can kind of pull some hairs out. You can pull like little things around your ears if you want to. This is my messy bun. I don't usually wear this bun to like work, but this is a completely acceptable way for me to wear my hair around the house, to bed, uh, to the grocery store, to the mall. <laughs> Whenever I just truly do not want to style my hair, this is what I do. Last hairstyle is a little bit more polished bun, which is usually my fourth and fifth day hairstyle because especially by the time fifth day rolls around, my hair is just a greasy hot mess. So I don't bother with the braid, I don't bother with really much of anything, but I do want my hair to look acceptable and nice for work. So it's a little bit more of a polished version uh, compared to my messy button. So I pull it back and it's up to you whether or not you want to brush it and make it nice and smooth. I usually don't worry about making it too, too smooth, but I don't want there to be too many like bumps in my hair. So I pull it back and then I hold it with my hand like this. I hold my, my ponytail, but I don't put the hair tie in quite yet. I grab the rest of my hair and I just make a bun. So once it's twisted enough to where it can kind of hold itself, that's when I will release this hand and then I wrap the hair around itself, which this is tricky. It takes a couple of times to kind of master that part of doing the bun, but I just wrap it around itself like that. Then I fasten it with a hair tie. So I like to use hair ties that are the same color as my hair are pretty dang close. So I wrap it around twice. Now if your bun feels a little bit wiggly, that's okay because I go in with bobby pins and I make it super secure. So my trick is these really, really big bobby pins. I don't know if you can even see those because <laughs> I'm so far away. So the trick with this is I poke it through the side of the bun and then I angle down and I clasp it under the hair tie and that really, really holds it in place. So make sure you like dig down and dig underneath the hair tie and then push it through. That way it doesn't move. So I do the same thing to the other side. Poke it in, poke, angle it down, get under the hair tie and then push it down. And then the last one I'll do at the bottom. So same thing, I poke it in, angle down, get under the hair tie and then push it through. And once you do that, your bun is not gonna go anywhere at all. Now if I have hairs like this that are kind of like not flush to my head, I will push them down and I'll hairspray them. But before I do that, I really just kind of make sure the rest of my bun looks how I want it to look. So I make sure that I don't have any flyaways, I'll pull down some little hairs around my ears if I want that, 
and then I go in with the hairspray. So the hairspray I've been using recently is the, what is this, Rock Your Hair? <laughs> oh my gosh, I was looking at the side where it says Big Hair Rocks. I'm like, that's not the name of the brand. This is Rock Your Hair brand. It's an awesome brand. It's the same brand as Big Sexy Hair. I love their products so much, and come on, how cute is that bottle? So this is just their Spray It Big hairspray. You can use whatever hairspray you want, really. And I will just squirt a little bit to hold everything in place and then push down those unruly parts of my hair if it's getting a little bit out of control. Really quick, really simple, I told you it's really nothing fancy. I don't do a whole lot of fancy things with my hair because I don't have a whole lot of time in the morning when I'm getting ready for work. So these are my three go-to hairstyles, unless it's down or curly, um, then that's a whole nother hair tutorial. But these are my quick, easy, like second, third day, fourth day hairstyles. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and let me know what your favorite second, third, fourth, fifth day hairstyle is so that I can kind of branch out and try new things. So anyways, I will stop blabbing. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.